In this video, I'll show you how to add a WooCommerce data birth field in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our checkout page. And if we scroll down to this section, you can see we've got a data birth field here. Currently I've set it to optional, but you can go ahead and set this to required and you can go ahead and rearrange the position as well without touching a single line of code. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. It's free. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. And now the second step is to go ahead and upload the plugin in which you just downloaded. So you'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the file in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all in one checkout. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then in your case, you'll go ahead and create a new checkout. Since I've already created one, I'm going to go ahead and edit this one. By default, we'll go ahead and populate the WooCommerce default fields, but you can go ahead and create additional fields from this settings area here. Okay, for example, for our date of birth field, we'll just go ahead and select this date of birth field here, and then we can just drag and drop it onto our checkout page, and we can rearrange it as I mentioned before, so we can put this at the top if we wanted, and then we can just click this settings icon to actually edit this um, particular field. So for the label, this is what the customer will see. You'll add something like um, NT date of birth in my case. I'm just gonna put date of birth, right? And then if we wanted, we can set this field to required. And then additionally, we can choose where we wanna show this field. Okay, since it's a custom field, we have the option to show it on our thank you page, um, in our account page, and on the order overview as well. Okay, we can also further customize um, the field width. So if we go to appearance, we can choose full width, half or a third. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set this back to full width here. Right, since I've already created a data birth field down here, I'm going to delete this one and leave this new one that I've just created. Okay, so now that we've added our data birth field to our checkout, so there's two more things we need to do. So we'll head to the design option here. And for now, we've got two options. So you can choose a single column layout or a two column layout. In the future, we'll have a few pre-designed um, checkout page um, layouts down here. Okay, and now we'll navigate to the settings page and we'll just go ahead and toggle this checkout to on. We'll give it a name, so I'll just name mine default checkout. So this is useful in the case that you create um, multiple different checkouts for different user segments. Okay, so you can set this to everyone, guest users, a specific user role or a specific user as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everyone here. Let's go ahead and save changes. And then let's go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, and now you can see our data birth field here is showing at the top. And that's how you add a data birth field in WooCommerce without touching a single line of code. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.